kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show is amazing to be in the kitchen giving you favorite recipes and ideas but anyway I want you guys to just take in this nice lovely recipe this is a Jamaican chick fried chicken recipe ideas I'm gonna share with my fans and to tell you that all you can do your jumpstick at home stay tuned follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook Google plus me and get your favorite recipe from Chef Ricardo and the team and it's sell off nice and lovely right here I'm gonna show you all you can do yourself some nice lovely oven fried drumstick all right right over here we have the jamaican valley chicken spice chicken seasoning and also jerk seasoning all-purpose seasoning no that's the jerk seasoning over there we got some natural seasoning and stuff that we're going to be using all of these ingredients we're going to put on the chicken we got a white onion and all these things garlic all the pasta we're gonna show you how you can do some chicken drumstick some fried chicken drumstick in the oven we're going to do it all right enjoy the recipe and please subscribe leave your comments below and it is very important for chef record and the team so first thing let's go into business we're going to marinate the chicken tie the chicken legs and we're going to show you how to cook it nice and lovely so first thing let's get on white onion we're going to marinate this chicken today Alright, so that's the white onion. I'm using a medium sized white onion, guys. Nice one. Then we're going to put down some spring onion. Tight. So we're gonna put on some fresh thyme. Don't worry yourself now. All of these ingredients where you see I've been using is in the Jamaican valley season. But you know Chef Ricardo always I use his natural season from now on and then. You know what I mean? But all of them is in that Jamaican valley season. And if you wanna get your Jamaican valley season, you know where to go, JamaicaValley.com. Two cove of garlic. Gonna marinate the Jamaican. Chop up those garlic. I'll put right straight on it. This lovely drumstick today. It's gonna be an amazing recipe. So first thing, we're going to put on one tablespoon of the jerk seasoning on it. One tablespoon. I'm using the tablespoon, and then the all-purpose seasoning. We're gonna put on one, two tablespoon of it lovely then we got some chicken seasoning we're gonna put on one two tablespoon then we got the chicken spice we're gonna put on two one two put a little bit more that's all right bringing a lovely flavor to it we got some chili. We're gonna put on roughly a little pinch of chili on it also. Really nice. I love my mixed herb, you know. So I'm gonna put on a, a tablespoon of the mixed herb. One tablespoon of mixed herb. Nice one. Also, a little bit of pepper. We're gonna put on some olive oil or if you have vegetable oil, whatever oil you like to use, you can use your favorite oil. Alright. Now what we're going to do, we're going to rub it up. Alright guys, I'm gonna get my gloves. Nice and lovely. So what we're going to do now, I'm gonna rub up the chicken. Alright. Get the chicken marinated and that's the best thing you can ever do when you do them kind of chicken. This is some drumstick right here. I'm gonna rub him up. Look at that. That looking so lovely and nice. Mm -mm. Jamaican Valley season right now, I, I hit and do it. So make sure you get your one ready for Christmas. As you can see, the chicken looking so lovely and nice. Yeah, you don't know what? But that's gonna cook it right away now to show the fans them exactly what's going on. All right. You know what? Look at this. We'll put them on the plate. All right, look how the chicken look nice. 
upon the plate this day now, you know. Look at this. I put it on the plate to make the fans them see how the drumstick them look lovely and nice. Alright? Don't play with Chef Ricardo when I'm in the kitchen and I cook. Especially when I'm in the mall. I just cook and cook and cook and can tap cook. Alright, guys? So, take a good look at that. Before me even go any further. Alright? You see what I'm talking about? That's the fried chicken recipe right there. And we're not gonna use no oil to fry the chicken. We're gonna show you how to do this one. I did a volume one before, but this is some drumstick. So let's what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put this one side for now. Let's put that one side. Alright, guys. We'll put that one side. Alright? Got that seasoned and ready for flour. We're gonna show you how you to do the flour mix and Get them ready and put them in the oven and beat them for roughly about 45 minutes. Alright guys, enjoy the recipe. flour right here and all I'm going to do is this look at this guys I'm going to put a little bit of pepper this is some pepper and also we're going to put a little bit of dry chili and also I'm going to put a tablespoon of mixed herb I love mixed herb and you can get mixed herb in the local shop supermarket to buy then we're going to go to the Jamaican Valley section we're going to use the Jamaican Valley chicken season one tablespoon we're going to use a tablespoon of the jerk season and also a tablespoon of the all-purpose season and also the chicken season we're going to use a tablespoon also of the chicken season lovely um i'll just share something with my fans and the other day i said anytime you're doing your for your bread for your for your chicken always use a fork and simply coat the chicken just mix up the the flour with the fork so this is the coating for the chicken all right Second thing, what we're going to do is coat the chicken in the flour like this. You're not going to be using no egg, so this is going to be really fantastic. Alright. So if you notice, flour on the chicken. Put it on, I'm going to show you where I put it on at the moment. So I'm just coating them right here. And I know you guys can do this at home. Very easy and simple recipe. So we're going to do all of our chicken like this. And these are some drumstick. And if you love drumstick, this is where it comes in really nice and lovely for you guys can do this at home. And this is lovely and nice. Look at that, really nice the chicken. I didn't have the chicken soak for about probably almost an hour now. So, you know, get a nice little soak. And you can also do this for two days. Soak the chicken for two days, 24 hours. Some people leave it for a week on in their freezer. Then they take it out, allow it for it to tot, get a good soak. So this is exactly what I'm doing with the chicken at the moment. I'm just coating the flour over the chicken. Nice one and you can do this at home guys very easy so you know sometimes you have to just try and avoid too much oil because some of the oil does good for you in England if you notice they got so many chicken shop on the high street everywhere you go is just frying frying and not seeing anyone doing anymore no try to go the healthy way 
then trying to get rid of it so quickly off of this planet so basically this is a new way for some of my fans them eh? and you don't have to use plain flour you can use all wheat flour if you don't mind nice and lovely so you can see exactly what I'm doing right here I know you guys can do this one at home man this is nice So, this is it right here. Just put a little bit more of a flour on top of it like this. Just wipe off right here. nice and lovely so basically that's the chicken right here as you can see please look good guys as you can see exactly what I just did so what I'm going to do now is get some olive oil or if you have vegetable oil and sprinkle sprinkle a little bit of oil on top of the chicken like this all right my seems weird but you know what I mean this is the best way you could ever do your chicken your fried chicken at home Nice one. Little bit of fried chicken. We just do right here some drumstick fried chicken recipe. You get your foil. And we're gonna put the foil over top of it just like this. Then we're going to bake this in the oven for roughly 45 minutes to an hour inside of the oven. I'm going to be using gas mark 9 or 8, is a, which is a high temperature. And we're going to bake it for 45, to 30, to 45 minutes to an hour on a medium sized heat. If you're losing any kind of different kind of oven, guys, the lower you turn on your oven is the better for you to get a good cook. Alright, then we're going to take off the foil and then we're going to show you what next we're going to do. All right, nice and lovely, guys. So basically, I just take the chicken from the oven, and this is the how it look like. Look at that! That is fantastic and amazing. So that's exactly what we're looking for, and that's exactly what we need to see. Take a good look. Amazing. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop it back in the oven for another roughly about 30 more minutes for it to get that lovely crispy color. All right, guys, enjoy the recipe. nice and lovely guys so basically i just take the chicken from the oven and this is the way it look look at this you see this is the way you look when you fry your chicken looking lovely and nice so hopefully guys you like the recipe please subscribe leave your comments below as you can see chicken cook really perfect lovely and nice and we will become with a lot more recipes similar like you can try your drumstick at home and see if it come out just like this one we only take one hour and about 15 minutes everything right here so enjoy the recipe and subscribe leave a comments below and i will see you next time bye bye